It has uh, been a while we have real conversations about especially our country, Nigeria. So this is the right time for us to talk because we Nigerians are about to hit the streets for protest. It's no longer news that Nigerians are planning a massive protest across the country in a few days. What is news is that politicians are already trembling, they are shaking in their boots. I am happy to see courageous people saying enough is enough and they want to act rather than us running away from home because as a Nigerian right now it takes the grace of God for you to live comfortably where you are no matter how nice of a person you are you are affected in a way everyone is dealing with issues right now so you coming to people's country is now a burden especially when you, you go to a country and you don't you don't act like you have your own country to return to you just feel comfortable and relaxed there and just feel cool you don't go home even when you are supposed to go home because you have numbers of days or months or, or years to spend in a country when that time comes the next thing on your mind is to renew the paper find a ways to get it done and to avoid going home so it starts to make people uncomfortable and the hate is real and i think i like my emotional self because sometimes i think emotional people are actually the best because we tend to pay attention to what people are saying more than the i don't care people they don't care no matter how you talk about something you talk about them as long as you have not physically pushed them out assault them send them away destroy their things they don't care no matter how hard you preach about them how uncomfortable you feel having them in your space they don't care but some of us do and we do not because we are directly affected no but i feel like oh my god i mean we don't have to go through all this after all there's no civil war going on in our own country so i was still on that thinking what is the way forward for us as nigerians from around the world i saw the news on online that nigerians are about to go for protests in nigeria and i feel good it's kind of good but what are we demanding that the government do for us according to the news i'm seeing on the internet they are demanding that the high cost of living in nigeria is too much so the government should do something okay good point but i think that we need more than that and this is because i don't know when else we are going to be this courageous again to hit the streets demanding our rights so now that we have a chance to do it what about we go back to the drawing board and figure things out we shouldn't just ask for low cost of living for me number one thing that we should hold our government accountable for is security security first then other things if the security is put in place i don't think uh, people will be afraid of going home like they do sometimes you deal with so many issues you know wherever you are you just want to go home and be reminded of that place on head that god rightfully made you for i mean god gave to you as yours but when you think about the consequences of you know going home you want to change your mind so and that is bringing me back to talk about the ebos in ghana and all that i'm seeing online the internet is a very small place people share their information it circulates everyone gets it so i've been seeing tons of videos of um people saying ebos are making ghanaians uncomfortable the yorubas are claiming to be part of ghana the Igbos have kingdoms in Ghana. Uh, you see other nations protesting against immigrants in their land. The courageous ones will go as far as mentioning Nigerians, that they don't want Nigerians in their country. Between then and now, I have seen about two different protests against immigrants. And the one I saw this morning on Instagram, um, not really a protest, it was a tweet. But after that tweet, the next thing I saw was a video of them protesting. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 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 Now we don't fuck all there. You can see that. We're standing here. It's gone. It's up in smoke. The place is done with. Up the kill lock. Done with it. End of story. Game over. Fuck, who knows? End up here and feeling this. 
them setting immigrant accommodation on fire and saying go we don't want you like uh, our country belongs to us our country belongs to us ban them stop them and i kind of wonder are other nigerians thinking like me look if we do not act now when are we going to act are we going to leave this for our children to deal with or we should deal with it now and and leave our children to enjoy because if we don't do something right now something is going to do us because as a nigerian right now no matter where you live there are some hits that you are facing except you're not being honest either you're being hated for being nigerian or there's just something wrong or you're missing home but you can't go home the country where you live their system is draining you but you can't go home because you dare not go home because home is not homing home is home is like a grave you are afraid to go back home yeah even though some people come and blame nigerian youtubers say uh, i see people calling me out lily you people are the cause of our problems like really are we really the cause of your problem that is not true we are all we are all going through it together so let me come down to Ghana and talk about these issues, okay? I was not born to be a coward, even though my mother never any day wants me to speak. She does not want me to speak up against anybody. I should just mind my business, which is a typical life of a Nigerian. If you are comfortable, it's okay. You don't need to complain. Just face front, focus and do your thing. Leave them. Anything they want to do, Naden Sabi. But some of us are not, we didn't, I didn't create myself. Neither did my mother created me. She brought me to the world, right? But I have a creator and whatever personality I have now was given to me by my creator. So I can't change myself. I need to speak because if we don't speak, we are something will do us. Growing up as a young girl in my country, I lived with many Yoruba families. There's this particular Yoruba family that I lived with. They are longest serving staff in the house. His name is Mr. Bakari. He happened to be Ghanaian. His wife, he had his kids right in the house so when you want to work there when you are employed to work for that family he is the one that put you through the orientation and all that he was a very kind man sweet like a father and never blackmailed anybody never treats you less he was nice to everybody so i have known Ghanaian from way back and i told you guys for those that followed me for some time now i said i was in ghana in 2007 i was brought here by a yoruba man for a family barrier they do come to ghana for barrier they do come for wedding with that family you understand so they said they are related they are connected they, they can't do anything without the ones in nigeria coming to ghana or without the ones in ghana here going to nigeria I've always heard that some Ghanaians, so I don't know about this, no one should come for me. Some Ghanaians migrated from Ile Ife in Nigeria, so I don't know how true this is. So even that family that the man that brought me for a barrier here at Akwiti Man told me, you know, that these people, great grandparents are from Ile Ife. But there have never been a time ahead that Yorubas are part of Ghana. Even though they have similarity in so many things, the food, the way they look, if you see a Yoruba person, women especially, if you see a Yoruba woman and you see a Ghanaian woman, you can't tell the difference because they have a lot of similarity. We know them to be curvy. That is how Yorubas are. And Ghanaian women are like that. A typical Ghanaian woman is curvy and that is how the Yorubas are. They have got a lot of things in common. The welcoming attitude. Yorubas are nice people they have always been that those rumors oh they were migrated from here they, you know they are like family they are one but i've never heard where anyone says yorubas are part of ghana i'm just seeing these videos everywhere on the internet circulating so that is not it's not something i know so but i'll just hit it that i like the new pattern now the way Ghanaians are calling the people that are having issues with them by their names oh is the yoruba oh is the Igbos. i like it like that it's going to help us address our issues quickly so dear yorubas please Nigeria is not that bad, okay? Please, you are Nigerians, okay? It doesn't matter if you're somehow related with some Ghanaians. Yeah, they migrated from Ileife. They are the ones that are supposed to come back to claim Nigerians. Not you, not Yorubas. 
coming to Ghana to claim being Ghanaian. I don't, it doesn't make any sense. They have always been that, eh, they migrated from Ileife. Yes, that is cool, no problem. If that is true, it means that reverse supposed to be the case. They migrated from Deabi. They are the ones that are supposed to come back home and not the other way around. So what is this? Nigeria are never bad rich like that. Make Una not do like this. It's wrong. Let us go home and save our country and stop blaming people here and there. Hey, it's the YouTube videos that cost it. It's, the blames are not going to change anything. It's what will be, will be. So let us go home and make our country desirable. Let Ghanaian say, if we want to be Nigerian. Let a Ghanaian say, I want to be Nigerian at all means. Like it used to be back in the days when Nigeria was doing well. Everything was flourishing. A lot of people were happy to associate with Nigerians and Nigeria. So let us think of how to get that back on track rather than us coming to claim we are from Ghana. What are we looking for? What? The passport is only going to bring us division and more hate. So the best thing is let us look for ways to put our country in order so that it will be a desirable place for us all to live, to want to be part of, rather than us coming to say we are also part of Ghana. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Now, let's talk about Ndigbo in Ghana. Ndigbo, they won't know. Trust me, if I could speak one language and have every Nigerian understand, this video would have been done in that language. Unfortunately, we are not that blessed to have one language that we understand. So I'm going to leave it in English. So Ndigbo, Nilne, and I make a I greet you all, my people. What is this in Ghana? Even though you people think me particularly no like Una. Yes, I may be right and you may be wrong about that but we are still going to have that conversation regardless because whatever affects you affects me anything when affects the eye affects the nose me and you we are nose and eye do you understand so if something is wrong with somebody's part of the body that person will be declared sick because you can't function if one part of your body is not doing well now in this case now two part of your body are not doing well we have complaints from here and there. Nigerians are doing this, Nigerians, and then you guys again. I am familiar with the Igbo culture, and I think that may have been the reason I kind of disagree with them most times because, I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. Because, listen, people feel like you are dominating, you are trying to take over because you have kings everywhere you go. So what happens to the king of the land that, that you are migrating to? Don't they have kings and queens with rules on ground? So you are not going to obey that. You need to be sent to your own king all the way from your land to come and be king over you in their land and have their own kingdom there in that land so that you will listen to that king and you will worship and serve that king and the king will serve you back in return. So what about the king of that kingdom? So anywhere you go, it means there got to be two kingdoms because you are not going to bow to their own kingdom. I mean the kingdom of your host country or your host land in this case because it's not only in Ghana. Sometimes when some Ghanaians talk about this, I used to laugh. It's not only in Ghana. See Igbos, they are like that. So but in America, when you do this, your New Year festival celebration, it is quite understandable because then it's far for you to want to come home just to celebrate something of a day or two but what about those living in africa especially ghana ghana that is from just 10 hours on the road for those that are too ashamed to, to be broke they can't go by road they don't want people to know that they are broke <laughs> anyways on here from here to lagos is 45 minutes from lagos to the east on here is less than 45 minutes so why can't you go home so you need just to us to get home to go and celebrate in your home worship your king the king in his kingdom his actual kingdom things are changing you know what is going on is nigeria that bad before now this king something that is bringing controversy in ghana here it used to be known as august meeting where the Igbo people from around the world will come back home to their land they invite their friends and neighbors to come and celebrate with them they call it august meeting you know it's that time of the year that every Igbo 
looks forward to because they come home celebrate they build projects for their communities give back to their communities and then go back next year again they will come back so which one be sudden change in doing things now they are inviting Igbos from Nigeria to come and join them to celebrate in Ghana and you think the people will be comfortable that way they won't be comfortable you are a foreigner so when you want to celebrate an occasion as important as this is to you you should go home and celebrate rather than invite people to come join you here because just like i'm squatting you in my house right then you you invite people to come and join you stay there in the house where i'm you're squatting with me where i'm keeping you it doesn't make any sense okay so what are we going to do to make things different because it's not just about the government. People said, oh, it's the government that make it. Uh. Now the government, they kidnap people from Nigeria. Hmm? Let us go home now. We think they sob. Let us go home and demand for our rights so that we can be proud of home. Me, I may be saying I understand why the Igbos don't want to take it home. Maybe it's due to insecurity. Even though some people still come online and defend, defend, oh, Nigeria is perfect. And then everything they talk. Oh. So why are we running away from home? What is the problem? You hear people saying, oh, Igbos want to take over our land. It's not, it doesn't make sense. If you have money, you should think of going home to build a house, go home and invest. So what is happening? Where is the culture of homecoming? Where is homecoming? Is, is it gone like that because Nigeria is struggling? When we say something, you people blame us. Eh, eh, you are not promoting Nigeria. You are promoting Ghana. It's because I, there's nothing to promote in Nigeria. If I did, the other time I decided to showcase Nigeria because it was too much insult on me from my fellow Nigerians. You are not celebrating uh, nigerians you are not the showcasing nigeria i go home i bring the schools come here it's not the same it's not the same so what are we going to do to get our feet back what are we going to do to save nigeria and bring out the honor and respect now i heard that some region in nigeria said they are not joining the protests there are people that are not going to join the protest really so but when you come here to this country here or other countries you are coming with the nigerian passport please whatever pain that you have i know nigeria can make you want to just disown her but whatever you have in your heart against nigeria please forgive her let us go home and save nigeria protest is coming who is coming together with me let us hit the streets of our nation like any country you are this is the time for you you to support the protest that is going to take place in nigeria by also hitting the streets of your country you live in okay let us put away this i belong to this I, you don't belong you are not Ghanaian. please you are nigeria yoruba people are actually very nice i i personally am proud of yorubas they have been there nigeria is still where we are today you still have some parts that are you know a bit safe all thanks to the yorubas they have really tried yorubas and uh, Ghanaians, they have a lot in common i keep saying it see if you don't have problem with yoruba man yoruba you don't have problem in their land yoruba land is that one land in nigeria you can live in i don't want to talk about the south because it starts to sound like you're saying that because you're from there okay some part in the southern nigeria you can live there build whatever you want to build and nothing will happen to it yoruba land is that one land in nigeria that you will own businesses slicked of businesses cars you will prosper and the yoruba the yorubas will not be envious of you they wouldn't say move go they freely said their land even in villages in the yoruba land in their villages they sell land to foreigners and non yorubas regardless of your tribe so let us go home and save our country instead okay let us go home let's forgive nigeria and go home save her if you can't go to nigeria the country you live in on that day let us all enter the streets okay film it post it on social media use the hashtag if the ones at home need our support financially let us come through for them let us hold our hands together to support our people because this fight we can't leave it for our children people will say you they talk down on nigeria to sell you to sell your youtube video it's not true i have um avoided the nigerian conversation for quite a while and my channel have been doing even more sweet my channel have been doing amazing and i get less hate comments and all that but mm -mm, i am nigerian and i won't let anybody silence me this country my country is going onaga 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 is going oh whatever nigeria has done to you forgive her let's save her okay all right so dear Ghanaians, please calm down okay nobody will take your land maybe you should 
put a pause um, on selling the land and hold the immigration accountable. Sometimes when I see these things, I shake my head. I live with Nigerians. There are times immigration officers will come over to our house and arrest a lot of them. But two days later or a day later, you will see these people again. I mean, the Nigerians, you see them again. Why were they arrested in the first place? Papers. Okay, now that they have been released, I don't know what transpired between them and the immigration officers. Does that mean that they now have the papers? Is a conversation that I am too afraid to go into. But if we want to be honest, we can start with the immigration officers. Because on these occasions, there were times when they knock at my own door and ask me for my papers. Then I didn't have the Ghana card, but I was always going to Nigeria anyways. A lot of people here used to give advice, stop going to Nigeria, it is affecting you financially. Yeah, but I wanted to do what is right. I wanted to make sure that my passport was always, you know, it always tally, I don't overstay and all that. Apart from it being a problem when the immigration views it, it gives you, overstaying gives you issues when you want to come back to Ghana. If you have overstay, if you go to Nigeria and you have overstay, you go to Nigeria, when you want to come back to Ghana, it affects you at the border. They will start to, the immigration officers will stress you because they are wondering, why did you overstay? So if I were you as a Nigerian, when you come, do your Ghana card, okay? This Ghana card is more powerful than the passport. The day I took my daughter to the hospital it happens to be at a border town so we had to get to aflaho to come back to accra and on our way coming i was asked madam let me see your id i brought out my ghana card she just saw it and gave it back to me quickly if it's if it was to be my passport you look at it check it check it i'll start to wonder what is the problem what what have i done what is it so please try if you are in another man's country let their own king rule you in their own kingdom. If you are in another man's kingdom, let that kingdom rule you. You will not die just for a while. When you go back home, you will go worship the Igwe of your land. I hope you understand this video. I didn't say Igbos are causing problems in Ghana. I only said that. I only talk about what is, everyone is talking about, okay? And I did not say Yorubas are causing problems in Ghana. I only say that. I'm only responding to all the things that people are saying. So I hope you understand. And I hope that you did enjoy this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.